Hey, do me a favor, will ya? Someone pinch me so I know I'm not dreaming. Cause I gotta be honest with you. It's hard to believe I've spent a year and a half living in the land of tropical sunshine, mangoes, and motorbikes. Southeast Asia, baby. Specifically, the Philippines. And let me tell you, living like a king here, it never gets old. No, really, it's like being the main character in your own personal paradise. Except there's no script and nobody's telling you what to do. Every day I wake up and the world is just sitting there, ripe for the taking. So where to today, boss? Oh, I don't know. Should I venture into Bonifacio Global City? Hint, I live here, where everything is shiny, sleek, and you're surrounded by enough skyscrapers to make you think you're in some sci-fi utopia. Or maybe I'll slide on over to Uptown, where the malls are so upscale you can practically smell the credit limits burning. There's Eastwood too, a little gem for when you want that balance of upscale but with a more laid back vibe. Or perhaps I'll just go down to the seaside and watch the waves crash against the shore, reminding me that life, in all its chaotic beauty, is actually pretty simple. But here's the thing, this life didn't just magically fall into my lap. Oh no, this has been decades in the making. Decades of work, hustle, grind, and more than a few existential crises. I mean, you don't just wake up at 43 magically living like a king in the tropics without a little effort. This is the reward of blood, sweat, and probably more coffee than was medically advisable at times. And you know what? I'd do it all again. Because now, now I've got the freedom to do whatever the hell I want. That's the beauty of it. And all the while, my little financial safety nets like my index funds and VT sacks are quietly working behind the scenes. Oh, and for those of you more inclined to live life on the edge, TQQQ. Yeah, I see you thrill seekers out there, but hey, we all like to dabble in a little risk now and then, don't we? So now I get to live this life, waking up every day with no real plan other than letting the universe steer me wherever it damn well pleases. Maybe today, I'll head over to BGC and stroll down High Street, where the palm trees sway and the air smells faintly of overpriced espresso. It's the kind of place where you'll spot a foreigner every two steps. Not surprising, really, considering that BGC's like the mecca of expats here. Everyone's got the same story. Came for the weather, stayed for the cost of living. And oh man, the cost of living, I mean, let's talk about this for a second. I live like a king here, but I'm not exactly bleeding cash. Rent, a fraction of what I used to pay back in the West. Food? Let's just say if I ate like this back in the States, I'd be taking out a second mortgage. But here, here I can feast like royalty and my bank account barely feels a thing. Now don't get me wrong, it's not all fancy dinners and lounging by the pool. I like to keep things interesting. You know what's got me hooked lately? Bowling. Yeah, I know, not exactly what you'd expect, but it's my thing. I'm working on this killer hook, and it's coming along quite nicely if I do say so myself. Most days I'm rolling over 200, and honestly, there's something meditative about watching that ball glide down the lane, smashing into those pins like life's little annoyances being knocked out one by one. But hey, when you've got a driver to take you wherever you want, a little indulgence like working on your bowling game just feels right. I mean, why not? What else am I going to do with all this free time? Learn the ukulele? Join a Zumba class? Yeah, no thanks. Bowling it is. So what's the point of all this? The point is that life, when you do it right, gets better with age. You put in the work, you make a few smart choices, index funds folks, pay attention, and you build a life where every day feels like a new adventure. One where you're not trapped in some nine to five grind, but instead you're out there doing whatever the hell you want. Whether that's strolling through the modern jungle of BGC or smashing pins at the local bowling alley. That's the dream, right? To live like a king in a world that's constantly telling you to settle for less. And here in this tropical paradise with the warm sun on my face and the freedom to go wherever the universe takes me, yeah, I'd say I'm living the dream. But to tell you the truth, I decided a long time ago that I wasn't going to be one of those poor souls grinding it out until I'm hunched over, rocking in a chair, drooling on myself while trying to recall what it felt like to have working knees. That's not for me, nope. I'm not gonna punch the clock until I'm too old and decrepit to enjoy life. I want my best years to be now, not some distant, barely reachable finish line where the prize is arthritis and daily doses of Metamucil. So what do you do? You figure out where you're treated best. That's the trick. Go where the odds are in your favor, where life actually wants you to enjoy it, not just endure it. And that little bit of wisdom is what gave me the courage to pack up my life, throw it into a suitcase, and hopscotch my way around the world. I tasted the adventure, and I'll tell you, once you get a taste, you never go back. Eventually, that adventure led me here, to the Philippines. 
Ah, the Philippines. Land of perpetual sunshine where the women are beautiful, the cost of living is an absolute joke, in a good way, and the tropical weather just makes every day feel like you're walking through a postcard. It's like life dialed up the contrast and color saturation on everything. And here I am just soaking it all in, wondering how I got so damn lucky. But here's the thing, this wasn't luck, this was calculated. A decision I made after staring down the barrel of a life I didn't want. A life of endless grind, pointless meetings, and maybe if I was lucky, a cruise in my 70s before I kicked the bucket. Screw that. So I did the math and the math said, go somewhere that's got the life you deserve. I listened. Now I'm living like a king surrounded by beautiful women, cheap living, and a weather forecast that basically reads, today's another perfect day. God, I love my life, every single minute of it. And I'm not one of those guys who says blessed unironically, but let's be real here. I'm truly, genuinely blessed. This is what I worked for. This is what all the late nights, early mornings, and endless grind were for. And now I get to sit back and enjoy the fruits of it. And yet despite how awesome this life is, there's one tiny nagging thing, convincing the people I care about back home to join me. Seriously, I feel like I'm living in paradise while they're still back there slogging through traffic, paying rent that makes no sense, and living for the weekend like it's a religion. It's like watching someone suffer through a bad reality show when you know there's a much better option available. I just wanna grab them by the shoulders, shake them and yell, you can have this too, it's not just for me. But you know, you can't force people to wake up. They have to do it on their own. That's partly why I started this channel, to show people, to inspire them, to motivate them, to give them a glimpse of what's possible if they just get out of their own way. Life doesn't have to be this endless grind of frustration, stress, and constant disappointment. It doesn't. There's a whole world out here ripe for the taking if you're brave enough to step out of your comfort zone and grab it. And it's not just about convincing my friends and family to make the leap. No, I want to reach people like you, sitting there, watching this, probably wondering if it's too late for you to make a change. Spoiler alert, it's not. There's no deadline for figuring out that you deserve better than the life you're currently living. You don't have to settle for the scrap society's been feeding you and calling it a meal. So if you're anything like me, and let's be honest, if you've made it this far, you probably are. You deserve more. You deserve to live somewhere that makes your soul happy. You deserve to be surrounded by beauty, by comfort, by a life that feels like it was handcrafted just for you. And maybe that's not the Philippines for you. Maybe it's somewhere else, but wherever it is, trust me, it's out there waiting for you to wake up and realize you don't have to wait until you're too old to enjoy it. You can have this now. And if I can inspire even one of you to pull the trigger and make that move, then I'll consider this whole thing a win. So yeah, this is me living my best life, trying to get you to do the same. Because let's face it, you deserve it. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be clinking glasses together in this tropical paradise, laughing about how we ever thought there was another way to live. I'll be waiting. But all right, let me level with you. Maybe I'm not exactly living like a king here in the Philippines. No, I don't have a crown, a throne, or an army of loyal subjects waiting on me hand and foot. But you know what? It sure feels like royalty, or at least like some kind of B-grade celebrity. You know, the kind who never quite made it big but still gets recognized at the grocery store. That's me and BGC. The magic of it all? I do it for less than a grand USD a month. Yeah, you heard me right. For the cost of a sad studio apartment in some overpriced American city, I've got my high-rise condo, my utilities, my internet, my visa extensions, all sorted, and I'm not skimping. We're talking about a place in Bonifacio Global City, where the streets are cleaner than a Disney movie, and the air smells faintly of high-end cologne and fresh out-of-the-box sneakers. This isn't some back alley in the middle of nowhere. This is the place where skyscrapers kiss the sky, and restaurants charge more for a salad than the average Filipino makes in a week. Now toss in another two, maybe 3,000 a month for everything else. Your food, your drinks, your entertainment, your little indulgences, and you're still coming in well below what it would cost you to live like a regular Joe back in the good old US of A. And we're not talking about living frugally here, folks. No, we're talking about living comfortably it's the type of lifestyle where you never have to worry about turning on the air conditioning or cutting back on that third margarita. It's the freedom of knowing you're living better for cheaper. Let's talk about today, for example. Today I finally tried out this hidden speakeasy bar called Bank Bar. Now let me set the scene for you. It's in the back of a 7-Eleven. 
I know, classy, right? You walk through the store like you're about to grab a Slurpee, but no. You keep going, straight through a door at the back that leads into this dimly lit, intimate little bar. No signs, no neon lights. It's like the fight club of upscale drinking joints. If you know, you know. And clearly the cool kids know because it was packed on a Wednesday. What the hell are these people doing on a Wednesday night? Shouldn't they be working? I mean, I'm not complaining. It's nice to be part of the in crowd for once, but that's the thing about the Philippines. It's like this massive, underrated gem that most people have no idea about. It's like the world's greatest inside joke, and only those of us who've taken the leap get it. We've cracked the code. We're all walking around with this smug little smile, like we've stumbled upon the best kept secret in the world, while the rest of the world is still out there grinding away oblivious to what's waiting for them on the other side of a 16-hour flight and a little bit of courage. So here I am blowing the lid right off this tropical Asian paradise. I'm letting you in on the secret because honestly, more people need to know about it. The Philippines isn't just for retirees or people looking for a cheap vacation. It's a place where you can actually live well, live better than you probably do right now, without having to sell your soul to some corporate machine or give up your entire life savings. The truth is it doesn't really matter where you go. Philippines, Thailand, Bali, Costa Rica. The point is, go where you're treated best, follow your heart, follow the sunshine, and for God's sake, stop waiting for the right time. There is no right time, there's just time and it's ticking away. You deserve to live life on your terms, whether that means lounging by the pool, with a cold beer in hand, or working on your tan in the middle of January, while the rest of your friends are scraping ice off their windshields. And if you're still on the fence, if you're still trying to figure out if this is the life for you, well, let me make it easy for you. It is. You deserve this. You deserve to live like the king or queen you are, with the freedom to do what you want, when you want, how you want. So if this little glimpse of my life here in the Philippines resonates with you, then congratulations. You've officially been enlightened. Now it's up to you to take the next step. Maybe that means booking a flight. Maybe it means doing a little research. Maybe it means subscribing to this channel for more of my charming, sarcastic, but ever so informative insights into living life the way it was meant to be lived. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It's not gonna change your life, but it'll certainly help me keep making these videos. And that's gotta count for something, right? Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you know someone who could use a wake up call, send this their way. You never know, it might just change their life. God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Or if you're lucky, maybe I'll see you at Bank Bar, sipping on something fancy while we both grin like we know something the rest of the world doesn't.